You know, I talk to homeowners every day who have a large amount of equity built up, and a common question I get asked is, should I refinance my mortgage and use that built up equity in my home to pay off my auto loan? And the reason why this is such a pressing question is because an auto loan is typically going to be your second highest monthly outlay other than your mortgage. Auto payments can range from 200 to 600 or more a month, and you could save a substantial amount potentially by refinancing your mortgage. So in this lesson today, I'm going to talk to you about exactly the questions that you need to ask and what you need to look at to determine if paying off your auto loan by refinancing your mortgage makes sense for you. Hey, it's Robert Weinberg, and on this channel, we empower people to take control of their future through expert mortgage and financial strategies. If it's your first time watching, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Also, click the bell so you get notified on all of our future content. Here today, we're going to talk about a very common question of, should I refinance my mortgage in order to pay off my auto loan? And what we're really talking about is doing a cash out refinance for debt consolidation to roll the balance of your auto loan into your mortgage. Now, if you lease your car, this is not going to be possible. This strategy only works in a case where you actually have a loan that's associated with your auto that we can pay off in full. The reason why this is so attractive to many people is that the auto is going to be a quite high payment, um, typically two to 400 a month. And I've seen as much as 700 or more dollars a month going towards an auto payment. So by eliminating that payment, people can think it, it would be a good idea, but we have to look at why it would be a good idea and why the payment would actually go down so much by refinancing it into your auto. And what we're actually doing is taking a short term loan. It's typical auto loan can be between three to seven years. And you're taking that and putting into a mortgage and that mortgage amortization is going to be between 15 and 30 years typically. It might be a little bit less, but that's going to be the most common is between 15 and 30 years. So the reason that your payment is going down so much by doing this refinance is because you're actually taking short-term debt and turning it into long-term debt. So what do you need to ask in order for this to make sense? What do you need to look at? Well, if you're going to use this as part of an overall financial strategy, if you're going to lower your payments in order to accelerate the payoff of your home and other debt, if you're going to use that savings to fund other investment vehicles or turbocharge your retirement, or maybe you have a business opportunity that's come up where you can use the monthly savings to accelerate the wealth and um, you know build additional wealth in your life. Those are the circumstances where it does make sense typically to use your mortgage and the equity built up in your home to refinance your auto loan and roll that into your home equity and into your mortgage. However, if all you're doing is you're just going to pay the minimum payment, you're going to save a few hundred dollars a month and you're just going to make the minimum on that new mortgage, that's a situation where it probably does not make sense to implement this into your personal circumstance because you might end up paying a lot more interest by doing that than if you just kept the auto loan the way that it is. Even if your auto loan is at five or 6% and your mortgage is at 4%, it still would have you paying more interest because it's about time. That's the most important factor here. It's not about the interest rate, it's about the amount of time that it's gonna take for you to actually pay that loan off. So as I said earlier, if you're gonna use the savings to accelerate your debt, pay your home off, or do other things to build your wealth, then we could say that it makes sense. But if you're just gonna use that savings to make ends meet, and you're gonna pocket that savings every month and let it evaporate, well then at that point, it does not make sense to implement this into your financial circumstance. I hope that helps and I appreciate you watching this. You can go ahead and follow me on all my social media channels. You can also read my book, which is available through Amazon, Mortgage Strategies for the New Millennium, where I talk about this and other refinancing strategies that may benefit you. The link is down in the comment section. If you or anyone you know may need help with re refinancing or buying a property, you can reach out to me via call or text and I'd be happy to assist you. Take care and we'll talk to you soon.